Hello friends, welcome back. So in this quick video, we'll talk about spot bugs. Spot bugs that too without using any ID. So for example, there may be scenarios when you are not doing any kind of development. Like we know that if you're if you're a developer, then you can use the spot bugs plugin in your ID itself, and then you can test your code, right? You can analyze your code, you can scan your code, and then you can find out all the bugs. But there may be scenarios when you are not doing the actual development. You have a team of developers like those who are responsible for your for actual coding but yes your role is to review the code or maybe you may be the part of a middleware team and your task is to deploy the code on the next environment maybe in UAT and production right so before you go and deploy or before you go and deploy your uh, project your code into the next environment it is your responsibility to verify to run any sort of analyzer and you just make sure that yes the code which you are going to deploy in the next environment is good enough to deploy right so there may be scenarios when you are not using any sort of ideas but still you still you have to run these spot bugs just to make sure that the code is perfectly fine like it goes like spot bugs right it checks for different kind of things maybe uh, there may be some scenarios where your development team or your developers forgot to close the database connection or state like uh, what do you call that uh, previous statements or result set there may be different kind of errors possibly right so now it's your responsibility to verify before you uh, promote your code or before you deploy the code it's your responsibility to make sure that code is good enough to deploy in the next environment right? you cannot simply deploy your code whatever you have got from the developers you cannot simply push into the next environment so in this video so this video is for those guys who are not directly working with the ide or directly not using any sort of ide but still they have to run these spot bugs code analyzer just to make sure the code is perfectly fine it is good enough to promote into the next environment so what we'll do is we'll first go to the official website of Spotbox. So this is the official website of Spotbox as you can see here, Spotbox dot something something is there, right? Now first we'll see how to install. So what you have to do is if you go here in the introduction part and then there are we have a menu called installing and then you have to click just click there and then you will see like it provides a zip format, zip file format or tar file format. So now depending on your environment, if you guys are using Windows. We simply go and download the GIF file, and if you are on Linux or any on or any other Unix flavor, just go and download the GZIP. Okay, so what I will do is I'll simply go and install the GIF format first, because currently I'm using Windows, and I'll paste the GIF file somewhere. Okay, now so this is the step one. What you do is just go to the official website of Spotbugs and then download the GIF file. Second step is to we need to unzip this this GIF file. We need to unzip, right? That what we have to do. So what I will do is I'll simply go to the directory where I have I have downloaded here. Now I'll just simply extract this folder here only. Extract all. So that is what they have mentioned in the instruction, right? First you go and download zip file, and then if you guys are using Unix flavor, you have to you have to replace. I mean you have to extract by using command or Windows just simply unzip. Okay. So now you see here is my spot box uh, extraction. But you see there are like inside this one there is one more folder. So what I will do is I'll simply take this out. Control X. I one step back and I'll paste here. Okay. So here is like here is my zip and here is my extracted version of spot box zip that have what that we have we have downloaded from the official website. Now let me just go back to the official website. Why I'm referring to the official website because in case there are some updates happen in future, you guys should know where to go and look for those updates. Now we'll simply go to the next. If you see here, next step is to running these spot bugs. Now, if you see, if you read this one, you will come to know that they provide two different uh, versions of spot bugs. One is GUI and one is text UI. So GUI in the sense you will see a GUI, a graphic user interface to work on the Spring Boots. And if you guys are like good enough to deal with the command, just simply go and run the text UI. So we'll see. So to start the spot box, we just need to run a command. So the command is here. What you have to type is you have to go open your command prompt, type Java dash jar, your path of spotbox.jar. Okay, let me run it. So if you see, I'm here. So what I will do is I'll just go and type CMD. So if you see the path is pointing where I have my spot box. Now what I have to do is, let me just write the command here. Let me just make it small first. So what I will do is I'll type here Java dash jar 
I think this is what it says. Yes. And then I need to mention the path of spot bugs dot char. So it is here. Right. So I just need the path. Path is spot bugs 4.0.2. Okay. I'll go to my command prompt. I'll type here spot bugs 4.2 and then live. Okay. It's not there. Uh, one second. Let me just. Okay. Yeah. It's inside libs only. Lib only. Okay. Lib. And I'll type here spot. Spot bugs dot jar. So let me just make sure. Okay, so the path is here spot bugs 4.2.0.2 inside lib, and here you can see I have my spot bugs dot jar. Okay, so this is what you have to start. Now there are two ways to do it, two ways to install. There are two views. One is either you can make use of GUI version, and another one is just like command prompt text UI. So I will first go and work on the GUI. So I'll just need to type here dash GUI and hit enter. So something is happening. Let me just minimize this one, this one, and this one as well. So you see here is my Eclipse GUI graphical user interface of of Spot Bucks. Now I can work on it. I can just make it big or whatever it is. Now the very first thing is like, for example, you need you are working on some particular application, right? So to analyze to run your spot bugs on your piece of code, what you need to is you need to go and create a project here, new project, and you have to give a name here. So basically, I call it as spot bugs test. Basically, it should be your application name. You have like application name, and you can write here spot bugs just for your reference. It could be anything. Now the next thing we have to choose the cloth part. So what I will do is if you see here, you can pick jar, er, word file, or zip or a directory. So it can, you can point whatever you want out of these four, and then it will work fine. So what I will do is, as of now for this video, I'll simply go and pick my jar file for my application. Okay, and here I have to click on analyze. So this guy is doing the analysis. So if you see, I am using a spot box. Without using any ID, I do not have any ID installed on my machine. I'm directly using now. You see, there are some errors. So in case like if you are using, if you are using some external libraries which are not part of a spot box lib folder, you will see the error message. This analysis error. It says like the following needed for like the following classes needed for analysis were missing. So like because I've used POI jar, it's not there. I've used Jasper jar, but it is not there. I've used Mail dot jar, it's not there. But that's okay. You click on OK. Now you see here you can see all your bugs. So basically, in my project, I have 474 errors, and these are the categories. So under correctness, there are five. The count which you see right just next to the category is the number of count, number of errors, number of bugs. Basically, not errors, number of bugs in your project. So here I have as per category correctness, bad practice, experimental errors, internationalization, malicious code, performance. So these are the categories, and you can see all your errors. Now, you want to see what you can do is just click here, double click. Now you see there are different errors. You simply, I'm just showing the next one, just one deadlock, dead store. Now, if I click on this one, it will give me the error message. It says, just so now you can uh, read about these. What is the exact error message? And if you see the red, it says P1 priority. It's like high attention bug dead store to local variable so if you see it says the like the entire information about the project about the error this instruction assign a value to a local variable but the value is not read or used in any subsequent instruction so basically i have used some property which i have not used right so this is how you can run now i can go to the next one seems like here okay just click here and then you you just now you can play with this one right so if you see here now i have used as per the category but if you want you can just go by rank here. So if you see here, right? So what is the rank here? If you want to talk about these 8, 10, 11, 15, what you can do is you can just go to the official website here and you see here we have a spot box execution. So you will find something here it's on the official website about these terms. Okay. Now I'll just again go back kind. 
so this is how you can choose the category but i'll go with the category because i like it most now what i want is so this is the task one so if you see the the, the uh, what do you call it the motive behind this video is to run spot bugs without using any id eclipse or sts or Cordery studio so we are not using any id but still we are able to work on ST or on spring boot or sorry we are able to work on spot bugs okay now we need to generate a report because like you have executed you have run the spot bugs on your code now you need to supply a report to your development team so that they can look into it they can work on the errors so for that what you have to do is simply okay so to generate the spot bugs report in xml format or html format okay simply go here file and then save as here you have to choose the path so i'll simply give the path here let me see if it works here oh, no so what i'll do is save as and then let me just okay and here i'll uh, what do you call that let me just call something i'll call it as it should be like your application name and then a spot bugs report and i prefer to have html you can go and generate the xml as well but i prefer to have html report so that you can read it and then you can just like on your browser you can see so let me just refresh application name is spot bug so this is where we have generated the report i simply open this one now you see this is, it says like a spot box report your application name is spot box version and then you see it says the matrix the high priority warning there are 15 errors medium and lower and total there are 474 now the category if you see bad practice correctness experimental error everything is there if you want to go you can simply click this for example you want to see where we have made the bad practice warning error message you want to see just click here so it will take you there okay so here is your entire list now if you want to read about the particular error just click on here now it gives the entire detail it says in class this is my class where i have used a uh, if you see the error message it says comparison of string object using double equal to or not equal to in this particular class so in class here value no string another occurrence is here so exact line number is 399 in my code so what you can do is just share this report with your developer uh, with your developers or with your development team they will look into it they will go to this particular class and then they will look for the error message because if you see it has mentioned the exact line number where you can find the errors exact line number right now you can share this report with your team and then you're good to go they will fix it again that will come back to you they will say that yes we have fix the the problems whatever you mentioned you again go back rerun the spot bugs analyze your code again one more time and then just verify and then push your code okay so that's for this video guys in this video we have covered how to use spot bugs plugin or utility without using any ide and how to generate bug report so that you can share your that particular report with your developers or with your development team they can work into it and then you're good to go thank you for watching and please do subscribe my channel bye for now